we're starting the Megina making process. So Megina is this dish I grew up with. Uh, it is matzah that is filled with ground beef and the ground beef has been sauteed with onions, seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then the matzah is folded around the ground beef, dipped in egg and then fried. It is delicious. It's a labor of love because you have to wet the matzahs, fold the matzahs. It's a complete mess, but we make it every single year. And this year we're going to do it over Zoom, but you have to start the process before because you need to make the ground beef mixture before you start the whole wedding matzah process. So I have a frying pan heating. I'm going to add uh, a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil to it. There it goes. Uh, I injured my arm, so one of the solutions I have is ready chopped frozen onions. It's a great thing. Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of these to go in. And there we go. Ready chopped frozen onions. Who knew? Um, though not especially economical, it definitely helps when you're short a right arm. So I'm gonna let these guys caramelize, saute. I don't know how they'll do. They have a lot of liquid on them, but hopefully it should be okay. Once the onions are sauteed, I'm gonna add my ground beef to it. So here's the question. Have you ever gotten to this point where you've actually burnt some of the onions and you're wondering, do I just leave them? Will anyone notice? It's just my family. Do they care that I burnt some of the onions? Hmm. So again, I used really expensive frozen onions, so we're gonna use the burnt onions. And to that, I'm gonna add 250 grams of ground beef. So it's about half this pack is gonna go in there along with my burnt onions and we're gonna brown this. So my beef is browned, as you can see, burnt onions and all. I'm gonna season it with a bit of kosher salt and just a drop of pepper. Not that you shouldn't go all out with the pepper, but I am so sensitive to it that a drop it is and my family will just have to be okay with it. And now I'm gonna let this cool while we do the next phase, which is preparing the matzahs. So this is gonna have to cool down so we can fill the matzahs with it. So the next phase in the Megina making process. We fried the onions and the meat, they've cooled down. Now we have to wet the matzahs. So full matzah is going into a dish of water and I'm dipping it on both sides. It's then going onto a damp towel. Let's do one more. This is how I go through 12 boxes of matzah on a Pesach because we make matzah bride, we make Megina, we eat matzah with butter, we just love matzah. So there's another one and I'm going to fold my damp towel on the matzahs so they get nice and soft, but hopefully don't break. So what I have is the ground beef with the onions cooled down. I've got matzahs that are damp and staying damp. I've got egg, which I'm gonna season with just a bit of salt. And then I have my frying pan, which I'm gonna start heating, put about half an inch of oil. Yes, it's a lot of oil, but it's time to bring this guy to temperature. And then we're gonna start assembling. Okay, Tamara, what I gathered so far is- I'm cutting, I'm cutting matzahs, I'm cutting matzahs now. Okay, so you're fine. I know, I just, wait, but and I, I didn't do eggs in a bowl yet. Do the eggs in the bowl. Also, oh, Kiva, do eggs in the bowl. <laughs> All right, mommy, you need to sh hold your Magina up. Wait, okay, wait. Hold on. Take the whole tray. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't like the angle. Okay. <laughs> okay, one second. Which one is it? Control out shift. Control home screen. Oh. Shit. Wait, Aurel, we need to see yours. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. One second. I'll keep it. Hate it. And your face. <laughs> wait, wait, how? I'll hold it. How about you hold the knife? Okay. <laughs> wait. Second, That's a bit <laughs> Okay. 